In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus CoCl2, sodium phosphate plus cobalt-2 chloride. Let's balance the molecular equation. When we balance the molecular equation, let's start with the phosphates. We have one phosphate here, two over here. So I'll put a two in front of the sodium phosphate, balances the phosphate, two times three, six sodium atoms. Put a six here, those are balanced. 6 times 1, so 6 chlorines. Let's put a 3 here. 3 times 2 is 6. It's balanced. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. Compounds with sodium are very soluble, even though phosphates in general aren't, since it's sodium phosphate AQ. That's going to be aqueous for dissolved in water. For the chlorides, those are very soluble as well. So AQ, sodium chloride, another chloride, and then this phosphate with the cobalt, when the phosphates with group 1, like sodium or potassium, those will be soluble, but everything else is insoluble. So this is going to be a solid. It'll be a precipitate fall to the bottom of the test tube. So now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. Sodium is in group 1. That'll be 1 plus. The whole phosphate here is 3 minus. Good one to remember. 2 times 3, that gives me 6 of these sodium ions, and a plus. I'll write the states later. Let's not do that now. And then 2 phosphate ions. For the chloride, we have 1 minus, and we have 2 of them, so the 2 plus on the cobalt. So we have the cobalt 2 ion, and we have 3 cobalt 2 ions. And when we have 3 times 2, 6 of those chloride ions. So you have to be careful when you're adding all these up. Get these numbers right. In the products, we have positive and negative here, so six sodium ions, just like in the reactants, and then six chloride ions, just like the reactants. And then in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. This precipitate here, we're not going to split it apart, so that's just CO3PO42. So this is the complete ionic equation for this sodium phosphate and cobalt-2 chloride. Now we can cross out those spectator ions that are on both sides. So you remember we had the sodium ion here in the reactants and in the products, six of them. We can cross those out. We had six chloride ions here in the reactants and in the products. Cross those out. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus cobalt-2 chloride. Let me clean it up. We'll put the states in and have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus CoCl2. Often you'll see the positives put before the negatives here, positive ions. That's okay. Either way is correct. Looks a little nicer like this. You can see the charges bounced 3 times 2 plus. That's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus, 6 minus. So this all adds up to 0. This is neutral. It adds up to 0. Let's stick the states in here. And this is the balanced equation for our Na3PO4 plus CoCl2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.